So in this video, we're going to determine the equation of the following. Now in an exam, they're going to ask you to do this, but they're not going to tell you it's a parabola. So you need to become very familiar with the idea that when it's a shape like this, then it's a parabola. The reason for that is if you didn't know it was a parabola, you might say y equals 2mx plus c, but that's a straight line. So you wouldn't use that. You would go with the parabola one, which is typically used as ax squared plus q. That's very important. If you don't get that part right, then this sum won't work out. So before we get started, I'd just like to predict a few things with you guys. So we know that this is a sad parabola. So what would we expect a to be, positive or negative? Well, well done if you said negative. And then this graph has been moved three units up or it's been moved upwards, so we would expect this to be a positive value as well. So let's get started. So the first thing we can see, and I haven't drawn this graph perfectly, there we go, I fixed it now. So the first thing we can see is that this graph has moved three units upwards, and so Q's value straight away can be made into three. Then how many more letters do we still need to find? Well, well done to you if you said only one more. And what should we do if we said if we only have one more letter to find? Well, well done again if you said substitute. You want to substitute when you only have one more letter to find. And so I'm going to substitute this point over here. So that point's y value is 0. It's a is a. X value is going to be 3. So wherever you substitute, you should use a bracket plus 3. Then we're going to go 3 squared is 9. So that's just going to be 9a plus 3. Then we need to get a alone. So we take this 3 over to the left hand side. So that's going to give us negative 3 equals to 9a. And then we can divide by 9 to get a alone. And that's going to give us that. And if you had to simplify that, that would give you negative 1 over 3. And so the final equation for this parabola is negative 1 over 3 x squared plus 3. And so just a quick mention here, that's negative, which we, we, we thought it was going to be negative because it's a sad parabola. And this is a plus number or a positive number because it's been moved upwards. So it's very important that you can predict what's going to happen. Otherwise, you're just doing this like a parrot and you're trying to remember what to do, but you don't really understand it. And that can be quite dangerous, especially in an exam.